have you ever wondered how you should get started in C Sharp? Maybe you've heard of it, but you aren't sure what steps to take to go down the right path. Getting started right is important for any journey. That's why I wrote the Getting Started with C Sharp guide. This 100 page guide is designed to take you from I know nothing about C Sharp to I know something about C Sharp. It's designed to get you started down that path. But more importantly, it's designed to help you identify early on, is this the right path for me? Because maybe C Sharp isn't right for you. I want you to know early on so you don't have to waste your time. But this book doesn't just say, okay, here's a couple of hello worlds. This book says, you know what? You probably know nothing. That's okay because no one is born knowing C Sharp. And so we're going to start with what is C Sharp? And then we're going to talk about how do you install Visual Studio and what options do you choose? And then we'll start doing a couple Hello World programs, but really so you understand what code is all about and how you write code and why it matters and what things are important and what things aren't. But that's not even the most important part of this book because this book is designed to get you pointed in the right direction. When you take a journey, you need to know your destination. And you may be thinking, I want to be a C sharp developer. Maybe you're not even sure, you know, what specific type of C sharp developer and you don't have to know yet, but you're saying, you know what? I want to be a professional C sharp developer. I'm going to get paid to write code. Okay, cool. But what are the steps to take? Because if you point in the wrong direction, you'll spend a lot of time and a lot of effort going somewhere that doesn't lead you to your destination. And that's why this book lays out the big picture path of what to learn next. Now, this book is kind of the introduction to the start to the C Sharp Master Course. I have a full course that takes you through learning C Sharp to becoming a professional developer. But I don't want you to get into that course and go all the way through it and go, yeah, it's not for me. I want you to know earlier on. So we start with this book. But not only that, I don't want you to have to buy the C Sharp Master Course. It'd be great if you do. I think it's the best option for you because it really does lay out step by step by step how to get this done in a real world focused manner. But you know what? I think there is a value too to being able to do it on your own. And maybe you want to do that. And that's why this book lays out that path for you so that you get to choose. Do I want to do it my own or do I want help doing that? But that's not all this book does. So let's first look at where you can get this book and we'll talk more about what else this book does. So if you go to Amazon right now, you can buy either the paperback or Kindle edition of this book. So the Getting Started with C Sharp by Tim Corey, you can check out Amazon, just search for Getting Started with C Sharp or Tim Corey, you'll find the book. But I didn't want to stop there because there's a lot of stuff around this book and maybe even a book isn't the right format for you. That's okay. If you notice down here in here, we have the bonus offer. So the bonus offer says, hey, there's additional stuff here. Let's look at that additional stuff. I created an entire starter kit. So this book is a part of that starter kit, but it's just a part. So the C sharp starter kit.com I'll link down below, but the C sharp starter kit is the complete kit. So you can watch the video later if you want, but this kit, there's the book, but it also provides over six hours of video training. Some of it is the same stuff as in the book. So you can either watch or you can read or you can do both. Uh, but it also has other things around there with advice and making sure you get in the right path and giving you some kind of wisdom from the field. Because I want you to make sure that you have a practical, real-world handle on C Sharp. And there's also some additional stuff in here, like the five pitfalls that all C Sharp students should probably avoid. And the five technologies that C Sharp developers should know eventually. And we talk about that too. But there's stuff in there beyond just what's in the book. So... I have this whole kit and there's this whole kit has a ton of value in there in addition to just what's in this book. So, you know, this is a really valuable thing, but if you buy the book on Amazon, I'll give you the kit for free because I don't want you to have to buy two things or, or try and track it down. Just buy the, the kit 
or buy the the book on Amazon and I'll show you how to get the the rest of the kit for free. Now, including the kit is also a PDF version. So if you're debating, should I get the digital version or should I get the paperback at the same price? Get the paperback because then you can have both the a PDF as well as the actual book itself. Or if you just want to buy that kit, that's fine too. Um, but this way you get a book too. Okay. So this whole kit is provided. Now I do have one one request from you. If you do buy the book, and I encourage you only if you really want to get started in C Sharp. This is not for, hey, I'm established in the field. I already know C Sharp. That's not for you. This is a getting started with C Sharp and it's called that for a reason. But if you do get the book, I would love for you to leave a review on Amazon. That really helps promote it and helps other people find it so they too can get started in C Sharp easily. Now, if you do buy on Amazon, there is a redeem.csharpstarterkit.com that you can go to. Now, it's also in the resources section of I Am Tim Corey. You'll find a link to this so you can go right to it and, and get to this redeem section. I'm gonna walk you through this process to, just to make sure you understand how it works. But basically, the first step is gonna to be to fill in your information. So I'm gonna email this to you. We're gonna put this, attach this to your email address. So the first step is to give me a valid email address. So you have to fill this out, put a valid email address in here. When you hit submit the form, well, first of all, you have to put all the information in. But when you do, you're going to get a email confirmation like this. When you get this confirmation, click the confirm button. When you do, it's going to go to a page like this, which looks very similar to the previous page. But if you scroll down, you're on step two. Now it's time to fill in the order number and you upload your file. So what you're going to do is just take the order number from Amazon and paste it in here. So there's my order number. And if I choose a file, there's my book purchase and I agree to the terms and conditions. Those three things and hit submit. And what will happen is that will go now to my team. We'll review it, make sure you have actually purchased that on Amazon. Once you do, we will automatically enroll you in the C Sharp Starter Kit. So you'll get another email at that point saying, hey, you're enrolled and that'll be attached to your email address. That's why it's important you verify your email address because if you, you know, if you don't verify your email address, then it might be a bad email address. Maybe you mistyped Gmail or something like that. But if you verify it, that way it's attached to the right email address. So you can log into the, the kit and get all the rest of the information. Okay. So that's the getting started with C sharp guide. That's what this is. If you want to check it out, I appreciate it. Um, if you know somebody who wants to learn C sharp, I think this is the right place to start. So I encourage you to recommend that. Okay. And again, if you do buy it on Amazon, make sure you get your free kit. I want you to get all the value you can out of this. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.